Hi, I'm Kristen Morenci Goldman with the Toy Association, and I'm so thrilled that you're joining us for our 2022 Toy Trends Briefing. This is a presentation that we normally give at Toy Fair New York every year. And while it's really unfortunate we can't be together in person again this year, we're so happy to be able to continue our annual reveal of the top trends that are going to be driving toy and game purchases through to the holiday season. So our trends team has spent the last several months meeting with dozens upon dozens of toy companies of all sizes, previewing hundreds of products, and we've come up with what we think is a really interesting slate of trends for this year. So we're gonna be talking about everything from sustainability and social justice issues to escapism through play and the metaverse. We really have a lot to cover. So thanks again for joining us and let's get started. The next gen creator trend is all about kids tapping into um, creativity, self-expression, building skills and STEM and STEAM skills as well to really customize play and become content creators in their own right. Whether they're showing off their custom creations on social media for followers and friends or creating artistic displays for their rooms or their homes. Um, there are so many products out there that really let kids just flex their imagination. What's interesting about this trend, too, is that it has a really strong intergenerational play focus. So the products that I'm going to be sharing today really are great for parents and kids to do together, have fun together, and build lifelong memories in the process. So let's get started. First up, I've got Jenga Maker from Hasbro. So this is a really fun twist on classic Jenga gameplay with players dividing into teams and then racing to construct their builds. So one teammate's going to draw a card and then describe what needs to be built. The other players are then racing to get theirs done first. If it topples over, they don't do it right, they have to start over again. And the first team to construct three builds and crown them first wins. So Make a Fort has become really popular for letting kids build really awesome forts right inside their home. And this year, Make a Fort is coming out with their creator kits. So the creator kits are letting kids really take that fort building to the next level. Each, each kit comes with a complex design that kids have to complete from a 12 foot long shark to a tank, a jet, a lemonade stand and a puppet theater. Um, a lot of fun for older kids who love building forts and playing in forts. And as a parent, what I love about these kits is that they are able to, they are easy to take down and fold flat for storage, which is awesome. Next, I've got the Light Bright Wall Art from Basic Fun. So this is a beautiful Light Bright toy. Um, it comes with 6,000 micro-sized pegs and 45 LEDs. It comes with these pop art designs that you can recreate really look beautiful when they're done. You can hang them on the wall. They even have hooks on the back. Um, this is for older Light Bright fans, so it's really geared towards 14 and older. And then I've got the Rainbow Vibes wall art from Faber Castell. So for kids who are maybe still a little bit young to take on that Light Bright challenge, this kit comes with four modular shaped canvases that kids can paint and decorate and then hang on the wall using the sticky tack that comes in the box. So just to show you, I did these with my daughter the other day. She's six. We had a lot of fun doing this together. She's right in the target age group for this. And what I like about this kit, too, is that it comes with a guide for painting on canvas. So you get these tips. And I actually learned something while I was doing this, too. So it was pretty cool. Next, I've got um, from Lego Friends. They're celebrating their 10th anniversary this year. So that's a decade of kids having fun with Lego, building their confidence, celebrating friendship. And this year, to celebrate their anniversary, LEGO has their Main Street building set that I'm showing you here. What I love about this one is that once it's built, the modular pieces can be moved around and rearranged completely so that you can really customize your building. Um, it's packed with great features, 12 minifigures. Here I've got Harper in her wheelchair. There's even an elevator for her. We've got the moving van for the new family in town and international food market. So. Parents who love Lego are going to love doing this with their kids, and it's just a lot of fun. 
So finally, last but certainly not least, I've got the Color Fusion Thrilling Lip Gloss Maker from Make It Real. So this is really great for kids who love beauty products, love making their own beauty products, um, but they're not just making a lip gloss. What they're doing is they're really customizing their swirled lip gloss. So there are five of these cartridges that you insert two at a time to create your lip gloss, different color combinations, different flavors. What I did here is I made a blueberry coconut lip gloss. I got it in this nice little crystal carrying case and it's so good. It smells amazing. Um, there's enough in the kit to make 12 so kids can create them and then gift them out to their friends. So these are just a few examples of the many next gen creator toys that we're going to be seeing a lot of this year. Whether families are heading off on vacation for the first time in two years, or maybe they're just looking to escape mentally or virtually, the great play escape trend is all about pure escapism through play. So we're seeing a lot of great travel ready toys that are great to bring on flights or car trips. And we're also seeing travel theme toys that take you off on faraway adventures around the world. The genius of play came out with research that actually showed that 76% of parents said that play provided a positive escape from the reality of the pandemic. So we really expect kids and kiddos to continue turning to play in the months ahead to, as a way to really de-stress. And also we're gonna see them escaping to virtual worlds like the metaverse. So speaking of the metaverse, um, Squishmallows is now on Roblox. So, you know, Squishmallows is a super popular toy brand. They actually won for Toy of the Year Award this year. And now fans of Squishmallows are going to be able to interact with them in this virtual Robloxian world. So players are going to enter the world. They're going to be able to explore it, um, do some fun activities and games like hide and seek. And all along the way, they're going to be collecting Squishmallows characters uh, virtually and building the ultimate collection. Next, I've got the LeapFrog LeapPod Max headphones from VTech. These headphones offer a really great immersive experience for kids. And what I love about them is they really tick off both the boxes. They're great for taking um, on travels, and they're also really offering that escapism through play. So really young kids are not going to have any problems operating these headphones. They simply turn the dial to choose whatever they want them to do, whether it's they want to listen to a story or participate in an active challenge or any, or listen to relaxing music or dance party music. Um, and they also connect wirelessly via Bluetooth to any device. So they work really great as just a regular headset too. Next I have from Wowie. So we've got the pop to play Barbie camper. So pop to play came out last year as a really great way for kids to play inside the house without a bulky playset taking up tons of room. And now with the Barbie camper, they're going to be able to go on a road trip with Barbie. Super cool. It has the same strong full technology that Pop to Play is known for. It's a snap to set up and put away. Comes with some great accessories and kids who love Barbie are just going to love it. Bibu is a boutique uh, toy and puzzle company that really prides itself on using sustainable practices. So, you know, minimal packaging, uh, minimal plastic, recycled materials, vegetable-based inks. And new for this year, they're expanding their line to include these beautiful thousand piece puzzles that depict beautiful locations. So here I've got Miami, we've got Rome, and we have Camper Life. So if you can't get away anytime soon, you can at least imagine you're living the good life in one of these places. Next from learning resources, I have the Solar System Puzzle Globe. This is a great early science toy for really young kids. They're using their tactile skills here to take the pieces out of the globe. So we've got the eight planets in here and the sun piece. There are also glow in the dark constellations. Um, it also comes with an astronaut and a rocket ship and it's all on this rotating globe base. And what's great about this one, too, is that when it's not being played with, it looks awesome just sitting on a shelf in the bedroom. Lastly, I've got the Game Bud Talking Tom animatronic character that live connects to the Talking Tom mobile game. Here he is right here. 
Um, so he will connect with the game that you're playing and he will provide funny commentary and he'll talk to you. And then there's also free play mode where you can ask him questions. Oh, there he is. So in free play mode, you can kind of use him as a, like an Alexa and for kids. See if I can turn him off. Turning off. There we go. Like a toy. You know, I'm not a toy. So um, Huge Play, the company that makes Game Bud, is in talks to make a Game Bud Pro this year, which is really interesting because that's going to be targeted to adults. And that's really showing you that this connection between the physical and the virtual and having these live gaming companions while you're having fun in the metaverse or online is not just for kids. It's really fun for adults, too. So expect to see even more products that are geared to adult gamers in this way. So these are just a few examples of the many great play escape toys that we're going to be seeing between now and the holidays. This trend is what we're calling Sensory Toys 2.0. We've seen a spurred by the growth of viral videos on social media platforms like TikTok, um, really focusing on fidget play and multi-sensory experiences have been taking off. And this trend really taps into that vein. Toy makers are offering even more multi-sensory experiences through play that is really going to resonate with consumers in 2022. This trend incorporates everything from layup toys to that uh, allow kids to uh, highlight their emotions and their moods, as well as classic brands and classic play patterns being reinterpreted with new fidget play. And I've got a couple toys right now with me that really kind of accentuate that and highlight that idea. So first off, I've got the Playstone Sensory Steps from V4 Adventures. And sensory steps are really something that are great for allowing kids, young kids to balance, work on their growth motor skills. But what's unique about these is that they feature different textures that are actually inspired by different ecosystems. So I've got the coral one here that is supposed to represent the ocean. We've got this one um, that's kind of got this honeycomb texture that's supposed to represent um, fields. Lots of different options. So you can play with it differently. You can have your kids close their eyes and try to feel the texture with their toes and figure out which step they might be stepping on and which ecosystem they might be on in that moment. So really fun way um, to engage the senses there. Next up, Play Monster is bringing back an 80s brand that is really gonna resonate with parents that might've grown up with it in the 80s. They are bringing back the Play School Glow Friends collection. So if you're familiar with Glow Worm from the 80s, this is being brought back in a new way. This toy line specifically, they have been looking to um, incorporate the, both the bug characters as well as the play sets with new fidget play um, and fidget features to them that are really focused on helping kids develop their social emotional learning in the process. One example of that is the Glow Friends Wiggle Bug character and it's an interactive flash that features four different modes of play and it's also got this light up feature that allows kids to um, kind of express their emotions but also gives them a little bit of social emotional support as well. Next up, um, this one is kind of what I see as being a reinterpretation of a really classic, um, almost the original fidget toy, which is the Magic 8-Ball. From Hogwild, this is Fickle Pickle. Um, and this is obviously um, just a fun little character where um, you can shake him up and he's going to give you a little bit more spicy responses than you might have gotten with the original Magic 8-Ball. So for example, he'll say, ask your mom or deal with it, which is just a little funny pun there. So again, reinterpreting classic play um, with new um, innovations. Another one um, is from Sky Castle Toys, and that's the line called Doodle Jam. And this one is these really fun on the go, really portable um, drawing boards that have these gel textures inside. There's also ones with beads. You can have um, also print out and customize these um, insertable um, backgrounds into it to draw on top of. This one, though, also taps into the idea of really taking off on viral um, social media. So if you look at the um, Doodle Jams hashtag on TikTok, for example, it's almost got 5 billion views to it already, and it's just launched. So that really shows that that's also really um, spurring the growth of these brands um, on social media platforms. Next up, we have got the Orbeez Activity um, Orb set. So Orbeez is another line that's been around for a, quite a while and it's got that really great sensory play to it. But these new sets um, actually feature um, built-in fidget fun. 
So you unbox it and it gives you a surprise reveal of what kind of fidget play you're going to be able to play with within these activity sets. So there's different ones. There's flow, there's bounce, there's also squeeze. I already opened and unboxed a squeeze set. They each come with 400 Orbeez inside, but you essentially can create your own little fidget toy, which is you know, great for um, fidget play. And it even comes like with a little keychain attached for play on the go. Really great. Fidget play and multi-sensory experiences, we all need to, again, um, get a little bit of Zen relief, some mindful activities. And puzzles are a really great way of doing that. And they also appeal to a more um, a older audience. So for the Play a Plants Bonsai puzzles, there's a new line from Dream 6 USA. And it's these beautiful puzzles, which I kind of equate to being like a little Zen garden that you're kind of raking around. But instead you are piecing this puzzle, three-dimensional puzzle together to create these beautiful bonsai trees. What's also unique about it is that they feature different leaf colors. So you can kind of show the change of the leaves or the change of your mood, if you will. And there's hundreds of different ways that you can configure them to really customizable play as well. These are just a couple examples of the Sensory Toys 2.0 trend that we're seeing this year. There are so many more on the market that you're going to want to look out for throughout the year. A recent survey commissioned by the Toy Association revealed that for most parents, the sustainability of a toy is very important. And in 2022, the toy industry is delivering. From toys that are 100% sustainably made to toys that engage kids in social justice issues, teach diversity, inclusion, uh, teach about the conservation of the environment and the preservation of wildlife species, there's a whole host of products out in the aisles that promote social and environmental good. So let's look at some examples. First, we have the Puzzles of Colors. This is a Black family-based uh, owned business that is a brother-sister duo, and they take artwork from African, Asian, Indian, Native American, and Latin American artists to teach kids about diversity, teach them a little bit about the different legacies um, in a fun puzzle that they can build and then even uh, display if they want. Then from Smart Lab, we have the Organic Science Lab. And this is all made of sustainable materials. So the pieces inside and even the packaging, they're all sustainably made. And so it's a great way for kids to learn about science because they are there's a whole host of experiments that they can make um, but also about the preservation of, of the environment then from bunny hopkin toys we have the wooden balance board and this is a board that's again 100 percent uh, sustainable made with natural um products it's also made in the usa so there is uh, much less of an impact uh to the environment in its production and transportation and it comes in this rainbow palette, which is great to promote pride and diversity. And it will also come in a sunset palette that will be modeled on Cuban skin tones to celebrate our differences and also promote diversity. Then from Plus Plus, we have the new puzzle by number. So this is a take on the classic uh, drawing by numbers. So you take the numbers, you take the pieces, you match them up, and then you can create, and in this case, we have the earth and we have other things that you can come up with. However, the great thing about Plus Plus and their pieces is that aside from being sustainably made and being manufactured in a zero plastic waste factory that's wind powered, they're also uh, mixable. So you can combine them with any sets to really get your imagination going and create whatever your heart desires. Then from Wildlife Artists, we have the Echo Pals. And this is the first line of fully recyclable, sustainable plush. It was created in the 1970s. The filling, all the materials they use are 100% recycled. There are no beads, no sequins, no plastic tags. And it's a great way to support the environment, but also teach kids about the conservation of endangered species, since those are the different um, animals that are being that are featured in the line. Then we have the Playform Naturals. And this is a new take on the original Playforms from Educational Insights. It is a sustainable product that is made with a plant-based core. So it provides that great sensory play experience that kids have come to expect from Playforms, but it is sustainable and it comes in different sets that teaches them shapes, letters, numbers, 
It comes in different colors. It has even some little pieces with it. So just a great way to get kids, you know, creating and using their imagination while doing good for the environment. So these are just a sample of the products that are out in the aisles and we'll be seeing this year that promote social and environmental good. Every year, the Toy Association presents its entertainment update. And for 2022, we expect to see a lot of the same in terms of where kids are watching. And that's on these non-linear platforms. The pandemic really accelerated kids' move as well as adults' move to watching on these alternative viewing platforms. And for kids, they're screen agnostic, so they're going to watch wherever they can get their content. With that said, we know that there are many movies are moving back to an in-theaters only model release, but we think the ones that are still sticking to these hybrid approaches or launching exclusively on platforms such as Disney+, Plus, YouTube, Netflix, HBO Max, are really the ones that are going to have the upper hand in the toy aisle. In addition, we expect to see that more social media influencers are going to reach across the toy aisles and form meaningful platforms. And for licensees, that means a immediate built-in audience of people that are clamoring for products and toys and games that are based off of their favorite influencers. I've got a couple products with me now that really demonstrate that idea. Starting with the Octonauts Above and Beyond Octoray, Octoray Transforming Headquarters Playset. So this one is based on a brand new Netflix series that's coming, that's um, available on Netflix from Silvergate Media and Master, uh, Moose, Tart, Moose is a master toy partner for this brand. This is an epic part, um, epic playset that you can actually convert easily into the headquarters, but at just the push of a button and it opens up to reveal a really great um, headquarter experience for kids. It also comes with exclusive characters that kids are going to love, like Captain Barnacles, as well as mission cards that are really going to inspire kids to go on their own imagination fueled adventures. Next up is something from Just Play. So this is the Turning Red Deluxe May Lynn doll. So Turning Red is a brand new um, animation from Disney Pixar that is going to be launching in March exclusively on Disney+. Plus. And this doll really allows you to do the transformation that Mei Ling goes through in the movie. When she gets overexcited, she transforms into a giant red panda. And it allows kids to experience that as well by transforming this Mei Ling doll by putting on its panda suit. So really cute um, and really kind of bringing that fun of the protagonist of the movie to life for fans. Next up, we're taking a look at a property that's really evergreen and it's been around for generations at this point, and that's Transformers. Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures is a series that is available both on the Transformers YouTube channel as well as Netflix. And it's one that really resonates with both fans young and old. And it allows parents to co-watch with their children. And this new toy line really um, gives something for both parents and kids. So it's got a new interactive feature. This is the Dinobots Unite Smash Changers Optimus Prime figure. And you actually smash down on the character to do its transformation. You're gonna smash down three different times to activate the full transformation to um, of Optimus Prime. What's really cool though, is that for older fans, it allows them to see a totally new type of transformation, as well as the return of Dinobots for the first time in over a decade of it in toy form. And for little kids, it's such an easy transformation for them to do that it's going to allow them to really recreate the fun moments of the animated series um, themselves with this toy. Next up, we're taking a look at another property that's going to touch a lot of generations, and that's Lord of the Rings. Um, they are coming out with a new series um, available on Amazon Prime that's going to be really exciting for fans. And Cosmos, Games and Cosmos is bringing it to life in um, an exit the game form. This is the Exit the Game Lord of the Rings Shadow Over Middle Earth Escape Game. So they take their classic escape games and they've um, incorporated the Lord of the Rings theme to it. Um, this one takes it all the way back to the beginning with Frodo and the Fellowship Clan. And they're all going on an adventure together and you are helping them along the way to achieve these different missions and accomplish these different missions for Gandalf. So really fun and engaging for fans. Then we've got Number Blocks Reusable Clings here with me. This is from Hand to Mind, and it features clings. This one's inspired by an edutainment property. Really exciting because edutainment is really taking off on these nonlinear channels. 
This one launched on YouTube. It's now playing on Netflix as well. And Hands to Mind really brings to life the educational value of the program um, with its pro products. So this one um, really brings out the um, math aspects and the characters of the show. Uh, extensive line. This is just one product in that line to exemplify that. And then lastly, Disney Plus is also going to be relaunching um, the program The Proud Family with a brand new spinoff show called Prouder and Louder. And the world of EPI and Fresh Dolls is bringing that to life in doll form and in, action, in figure form. This is the Penny Proud and Crew mini figure set. Um, and what's great about it is it takes Penny and her friends. Um, they're all really well detailed. Um, products in this line and the playset itself, um, it can read the box packaging can be reused and um, as Penny's bedroom as a backdrop. So you can really bring the magic of the show to life with this figure set and all these different characters included. Again, these are just a few examples of everything that's coming out entertainment wise. There's so much content for kids these days and these nonlinear channels are really offering um, a new way for kids to watch and toy makers are really bringing that to life through toy products. So that concludes our 2022 toy trends briefing for the year. We hope you enjoyed the product that you saw today. And if you need more information, you can head over to our website at toyassociation.org slash trends for more information. If you'd like to submit any kind of product information for upcoming media opportunities, you can also reach out to me directly at jlynch at toyassociation.org. 